Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. While I tend to prefer future death sleds and El Caminos in my racing games, I'll take some ATV quads as long as the game is good like this one. It's ATV2 Quad Power Racing. Yeah! It's time to shotgun some cans of Miller Lite and headbang. It's time for ATV2. Quad Power Racing on the PlayStation 2. I thought this game was gonna suck. Instead, it's actually very good. It says a claim on the disc. This defies physics. How can it be good? It, it just is. There's few things in life more gratifying than shotgunning cans of beer while riding around in the back of a pickup truck, but that has nothing to do with this game. In this game, you're driving ATV quads or whatever these things are. They look very unsafe, but the game is really fun. This is surprisingly playable. For what I thought was just going to be another low-budget, hey, let's throw bikes or something into a game because people will buy it kind of game, and here it is, probably one of the top 20 PlayStation 2 racing games. I didn't see this one coming. I sat down and created my character, Kilzana. She's beautiful and she rides an ATV. She's also getting her postgraduate molecular science degree at MIT, fellas, so watch out. Don't worry, she'll blink and respawn. She's a tough gal. This is like an interesting mashup of a decent off-road racing game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and Road Rash. And while the heavy alternative music selections are a bit limited, this could definitely use more white zombie. It's kind of annoying hearing these same five songs over and over and over again, but the gameplay is great. This is a simple, straightforward, good times racing game. It's got your usual stuff, a championship mode, an arcade mode, a few different environments to drive in. As you win races and collect gold medals, you unlock new quads and sort of level your character up. There's no machine guns or flamethrowers, but you can kick your opponents off their uh, quads or whatever those things are. Do people really ride these things and do tricks in the air? Like, that, that seems very unsafe. I like to not have a spinal cord injury, so bring on the video games. As you level your character up, you learn new tricks that you can pull off in the air, and when you chain them together, you get a big combo score, and then you get more boost. But the boost isn't really terribly helpful in this game. It's really not all that difficult if you're any good at racing games. It's a combination of just memorizing the tracks, staying in the lead, and of course kicking all of your opponents off their quads because why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> While it's not a great looking game on the Gran Turismo 4 scale or anything, it's a good looking game that runs smoothly enough on your PlayStation 2. And I know a number of you have been wanting me to bring this word back, so here you go. ATV2 Quad Power Racing can be found eBay is a bleed. It's cheap and you won't have any trouble finding it. However, I did see that there's another game out there called ATV2 Off-Road Fury for the PlayStation 2. I haven't played it, but I'm assuming they're two different games. Don't let the Acclaim logo scare you off. Trust me, this one is fun. And I have a correction here from a previous review. Tyler from Bluffton, Ohio sent VR Sports Powerboat Racing for the PlayStation, while Tyler from Denora, Pennsylvania sent ATV 2 Quad Power Racing, or ATV Quad Power Racing 2, while Tyler from Bluffton 
sent Smugglers Run 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2. So, two guys named Tyler both sent a whole lot of racing games, and you've messed up my mind. In a good way, though. This one also has two to four player local split screen multiplayer, a bunch of challenges, unlockable stuff. It's a ton of fun for less than four dollars. ATV2 Quad Power Racing. This one loses points for not having white zombie on the soundtrack, but it gets points for being fun. And there's never been a better time to collect for your PlayStation 2 like right now. These games are dirt cheap. So invite some friends over, crack some beers, and crash an ATV or two. It's ATV2 for the PlayStation 2. Now if only it was Truxton 2. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club where I give thanks to these backers on Patreon. Starting with... Jeff, Jeff Captain, Captain Dauntless Breyer, Ohad Kane, Jack Stavris from Australia, Philip Michael Stiles of Ortona, Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria, Landon Ellerby, Justin Duran from Palm Desert, California, Steve Chucknick from New Jersey, Sean Zoltek, Rick DeBarros. Hemp Tracks, Al Stiver, Chip Sankbell, Shadow Minion, For Lord Carnage, Busy Signal, Jason from Kamloops, British Columbia, Will, Zach Brenner, Sergio, Matthias Hergers, Jim Moriarty, Rob from Palmerston North, New Zealand, Kishore Ken, Soft Otaku. See you next time on Classic Game Room, Mark 3.